Both the Warriors and the Hawks on the road in Darien for Game 2, a must-win for Central, while Bonte can clinch a spot in the West Finals with a win. The teams play tight through most of the first period, but with two minutes left, the Red Hawks have a man advantage. All-stater Troy Nelson screens Neil Airy in front of the net, and Cole Harris lets it fly for a 1-0 lead. Bonzi needs to regroup after giving up 12 shots on goal in the first period. The Warriors themselves only muster up 12 in the first and second combined. But that's not to say Dub V isn't in this game. A few minutes into the second, Adrian Ressing sneaks through a maze of defenders. The puzzle isn't hard to solve. Top Shelf ties the game at one apiece. Third period, one all. This is how quickly a game can change on you. After a puck gets away from central goalie Cody Horvath, Daniel Pike basically gets an open net chance, but it's not to be thanks to Scott LePoe. The Hawks have a counteroffensive. Airy makes the pad save on Collarwood Sega. Those pesky rebounds will get you. Ryan Brooks puts it home, 2-1 Hawks. Central ends up killing a 5-on-3 Bonzi power play, but then gives up a goal anyway soon thereafter at even strength. Wrestling with the wrist action, 2-all with under 5 to play. This time of year, we don't do traditional overtime. Instead, it's straight to a shootout. Again, Central needs a win to keep its season alive, and after Red Hawk Lepo is denied on his first try, all the pressure falls on goalie Horvath. Wrestling is his first test, and he goes stick side to give the Warriors an advantage after one round. Round two, even more pressure on Central and shooter John Hatton. He tries going stick to glove side on Neil Airy, but Airy's there. Pike up next for Bonzi, a chance to take a firm two goal advantage after two rounds. Horvath keeps the stick down, but in the wrong spot, the five hole screamer goes through. Airy and Nelson look each other down for the round three showdown. Airy stays deep in the crease and it works out well. The shoulder rejects Nelson's top shelf shot. Central Scott Dunsire scores in round four to put up his team's first shootout score, but with Jake Stobart at the point, his team already has two. He could win it if he can score it, and that's pretty. Change direction is lethal. Central wins the shootout 3-1 to one and moves on to the West Cup Finals against one loss, Nico Valley. Now going first, I just thought I gotta put the puck in the net and get the boys hyped, and um, yeah, it worked out. We got up 2-1, which we wanted, and then um, you know, they just, we've been trying to keep their guys out to the outside for the, you know, those shots and the guy just snuck in a little closer and uh, buried one, nice goal, nice timing and, you know, well, Bonzi played well. Well, a couple times I found a guess on shots and such, I was a little deep, but um, I found that when they tried to deep and I stayed out, such as on Jack Hatton's attempt, uh, I just needed to keep focused on the puck and stay square. Coach just said to keep working hard and uh, play like we did on Thursday, and we had the chance to put them away with the one up uh, lead in the series, and we just worked hard and uh, we got the W in the end. This series is a huge confidence boost, seeing that we lost to this team all year, and then we gave it to them two consecutive games in a row, uh, and so momentum going into playing Nikwa and State is going to be huge.